And in continuation of that, we have a big breaking news coming in after the Supreme Court orders. The Delhi Pollution Control Committee Maintenance and Operational Team reached CP's smog tower and has opened the locks as well. Now, smog towers will start to function from today if there is no major technical issue with the tower. So this is the big breaking news coming in from National Capital's famous place, Connaught Place, where the team, the Delhi Pollution Control Committee Maintenance and Operational Team has reached the smog tower and has in fact opened the locks of that particular tower. Smog towers will now start to function from today itself if they find no major technical issue with the towers functioning. So that's the big breaking news coming in straight from the national capital. We have seen a News 18's Anshul Singh joining us live from this particular smog tower that we are talking about. Anshul, bring us more details about what has happened there. Uh, so yes, first thing first, I'll just move out of the frame and I'll show you that there were these locks that were placed over here for the last seven to eight months and these locks have finally been removed by the members of the Delhi Pollution uh, Control Committee who were actually uh, told by the Supreme Court yesterday itself that since the smog tower is already built, why is it not being used? Because remember, the orders that actually came in to smog these uh, smog towers initially was because that the smog towers took uh, 22 crore rupees to build initially and then post that it took almost 10 lakh rupees uh, per month to maintain it and the maintaining cost was very high for this smog tower because the effect was minimal. But the Supreme Court seeing the kind of hazard that this AQI has become for the people of Delhi has said that when you have uh, things like the smog tower, why is it, it, it functional and hence the maintenance team from the uh, DPCC have themselves come over here. In fact, the chairman of the DPCC was also uh, present over here just a few minutes ago and in front of him this lock was opened and uh, if I could just show you in the visuals over here, there are a few people who are inside this smog uh, tower at this point in time. These members are from the uh, are of the DPCC and are from the maintenance committee of the DPCC and hence they have come over here to check the smog tower because remember it has not been maintained for the last eight months and hence they are doing the te technical surveillance of this entire uh, smog tower and checking uh, checking if at all this smog tower is actually in the position to function right away. So yes, we are expecting that once this uh, surveillance ends, the smog tower will finally function that has been shut uh, for the last eight months and that could actually bring some sort of relief uh, for the people of the national capital because they have been grasping for fresh air for the last five to six days because the AQI has continued to remain in the severe category itself. So yes, in, within the next few hours, we are expecting that the smog tire will start to function if at all it is in the condition to start functioning. Right, Anshul. And just for the better perspective of our viewers, could you also tell us how exactly this particular smog tower going to help in curbing down the levels around the CP area? Also, if the checks are currently underway at that location. Uh, so yes, I am very much at the Kanat Place area where this uh, first smog tower of the national capital was built. And if you could just see in the visuals, these smog towers are still not functioning. So how will it? Uh, how will it help this? actually helps in marginally reducing the PM2.5 and PM2, uh, PM10 uh, particulate matter in the air uh, because if, if we could see right above uh, the visuals that you are seeing on your screens right now are of the exhaust that has been built over here whereas uh, the top of the smog tower is the place from where uh, the air is sucked in and there are filters that have been placed over there this filter actually makes sure that the air that is uh, sucked in the PM2.5 and P, uh, PM10 particulate matter uh, is taken away and a fresh uh, fresh air uh, in fact is given out because the manner in which the air is cleansed is the basic job. This could be seen as an air filter uh, th that, that has been uh, uh, built up. But yes, the biggest question behind this uh, smog tower and the biggest point of contention was that how much could it actually help uh, in uh, controlling the air quality out here, especially in the Kanat Place area where the AQI is generally uh, below the uh, below the AQI that the people of uh, people in other parts of the national capital has to face. But yes, the results have not, uh, although the results have not been really very really significant uh, when it comes to reducing the uh, air pollution or improving the air quality. But yes, this is one of the ways through which uh, the AQI in somewhere or the other is controlled. AQI in somewhere or the other. Uh, is brought brought under control, although marginally. Uh, but yes, this is uh, something that has already been built, and this was the argument that the Supreme Court put forth. And that if if uh, if structures like these have already been built, then why is it not being used at a time 
of uh, at a time when the people of delhi are already facing this issue of hazardous air so that is the reason why today uh, we are seeing that the smog tar has finally been opened after uh, after 8 months that it was it was shut uh because of the politics that had happened around it so yes it will reduce the aqi out here in the national capital uh, in the kanat place area not sig significantly but marginally but even a marginal improve improvement is something that the supreme court and the government is looking at uh, at this point in time because the situation out here in the national capital is nothing less uh, than uh, 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 than an epidemic and hence it should be controlled at the earliest and bringing immediate relief to the people of the national capital is something that is the focus of the delhi government of the central government and of the supreme court as well right anshul we'll request you to please stay with us because we have cnn news 18's rupashree nanda joining us on the phone line as well rupashree a very good morning to you we want to understand from you every year whenever this issue of air pollution rises up Delhi comes to the center position and in fact the Aam Aadmi Party in turn now there is another blame game that is happening between the states at this point of time what is Aam Aadmi Party's stand on this issue well uh, the government's uh, stand is very clear the government stand is that it is going to do everything that it can under its own control in order to try and uh, Uh, you know subdue the sort of a the the uh, sort of pollution levels that are there in the national capital uh, remember the delhi government had also announced a 15 uh, day action uh, plan way uh, back and remember the controversy that you are uh, seeing uh, which has erupted now over this uh, smog tower the aam aadmi party's government had actually raised an alarm about it and uh, gopal the environment uh, minister of aam aadmi party had actually written to the lieutenant uh, had actually spoken to the lieutenant governor and written to the chief minister asking for the suspension of the then uh, dpcc chairperson Uh, because he took the decision of uh, shutting the, down the uh, smog tower unilaterally without in, even informing uh, the government uh, gopal rai had also informed uh, the the uh, press at that point that it was only when he called for the files uh, of uh, the particular smog tower that he came to know that funds had not been dispersed uh, dispersed and therefore it had been shut down Uh, so uh, so that is a kind of you know uh, politics that is happening in the national capital and it is a sad fact but it is true uh, that uh, you know the the sort of a work uh, failure of uh, having a good working relationship of the aam aadmi party's government along with the lieutenant governor's office and the central government is actually you know harming uh, the the fight against uh, pollution here in the national capital uh, today at 12 pm gopal rai is going to have yet another meeting with uh, atishi who is the revenue minister and also with uh, kailash gehlot who is the trans transport minister i remember odd and even is going to be a force in the national capital very soon and the the, the nitty gritties of that plan is going to be chalked out but as per the inputs that the government has post diwali again you know the the air quality is supposed to rise even further you know it is going to get worse for days after diwali which is why the government is actually you know not is is trying to do everything that it can but as is evident now every other every step that has been taken by the delhi government or but by the neighboring governments uh, uh, you know in the uh, neighboring governments across the national capital those uh, steps have only proven to be just incremental and have yeah. not had the kind of radical impact uh, in the battle against uh, pollution as they were expected to have and it is also true that many promises that were made uh, both in the supreme court and otherwise those promises also have not been made and the citizen is uh, at uh, you know uh, is uh, is basically having to bear the brunt of uh, this uh, uh, political blame game right rupashri and anshul thank you so much for bringing us all those crucial details we'll keep coming back to you for more updates on this particular issue right